I often see these videos on Facebook. There are these restaurants that sound terrible and have one gimmick. Like, for instance, they got this avocado restaurant where all they serve is avocado on everything. At first, you watch the video and you're like, boy, this is interesting. Then you realize it's really retarded. Look at this. What is going on here? Oh, sweet. You put a bunch of avocado on things. I can do that at home. And look, it's all just fucking toast. It even says that it's avocado toast. Who cares? I can't wait. I can't wait to eat bland fruit paste on all of my meals. I think avocado is actually a trend at all. I think avocado is here to stay. And the way we're approaching this is that we are building Bruh, a healthy Bruh, it's the fucking food. trend. It's gonna disappear just like bacon. Where'd all those bacon restaurants go? Oh right, they didn't exist because it's fucking stupid. Hey, honey, let's go to Avocado Daria tonight. I'm feeling like I should have some avocado. Oh, babe, you know what? That sounds really good. I could go for avocado again, too. Uh, what do you think you're gonna get tonight? You know, I was thinking of switching it up and having something different. Like, um, instead of avocado, I was going to have, uh... Avocado. Yeah, okay, honey, that sounds great. You get sick of it so fast. How much variance could you possibly have when the base ingredient is the same for every meal? You have places like sushi restaurants that are heavy on the emphasis in avocados, but not everything is a fucking avocado base. Everything is a rice base or a seaweed base because it's a neutral flavor. Avocado tastes bland, but it undeniably has a flavor. It has a pasty, gross texture, and I kind of hate it, but I'll eat it and stuff. I'll eat it and stuff if it's mixed in, but I don't want a giant fucking avocado in my mouth. Why is this a thing? It doesn't taste like anything. It's not just neutral, it's offensive. Oh, and imagine the aftermath, too. Your poo's gonna come out like soft serve and stain the inside of your anus. Next restaurant that popped up on Zuckerberg's Hellscape that is my newsfeed was this place that just served ranch dressing with everything. This isn't too offensive to my sensibilities as a human being. It is kind of disgusting how they drench everything in ranch, and it's just absolutely soaking with it. And with this platter, I feel like you could just try every ranch flavor and then never come back, because you've tried every ranch flavor available. It's pretty cool how they make the stuff in-house, though. I'm also a little confused by the uh, music choice. Is this some sort of Zionist conspiracy? Everything just looks normal and fattening and American. Uh, the only thing that makes me pissed are these drinks. I've never had, like, a drink and thought, man, I should put some ranch with this. Want some ranch with my liquor? You know, this vodka is pretty good, but really, what it could use is a ranch infusion. Alright, there we go. New drink. One part's vodka, one part's ranch. Put it all in there. Mix it up real good. And then you just, you know, you just suck it down. <coughs> oh! Woo, that's good. Lastly, there was some restaurant where the shakes were just piled high with diabetes. The milkshake itself looks fine, but then they coat the outside of the glass in peanut butter and chocolate, then coat it in candy and even more sweets. That way people could suck down their milkshake and then lick the outside of their cup like some sort of disgusting animal. I'm afraid that if I drink one of these things, I may go into shock. I'm not sure a milkshake is worth an amputated diabetes limb. You can't just keep piling sugar on top of itself and call that a drink. Look, I can make one of these things at home with half the effort. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a fun, a fun Facebook milkshake at home. First of all, you need your milk base, obviously, so you you know, you know put a little bit of that right in there. Alright, so that's, you got some milk, that's good. And, um, I don't know, fucking ice cream, that's, you need that, right? 
keep getting my fingers in the way. I'm sorry about that. This is a very amateur home video. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to help the masses. So you get a nice scoop of iced cream in there. And I don't know, like uh, uh, some M&Ms and get that right in there. That's good. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know, you know, that's okay. So you got that and then, I don't know, uh, you need some protein, right? So, you know, you can get a scoop of protein. You can get this at your local health food store. Don't, you know, you don't need too much. Just a little bit, just some, there you go, that's good. Then, I don't know, fuck it. Like, just put anything in there. Like, fucking, got this dark, dark, dark chocolate. chocolate. Fucking, just get it in there. Just fucking, just put it in. And who cares, you know? Fucking, just get the, just fucking put the whole wrapper in. And then, I don't know, like, if you want to garnish, just shove... Shove some chocolate on the side. Fuck it. I don't care. Fuck. Who cares? All right, whatever. Just it all goes in there. Then smash it up really nice. You know, you just want to get a nice cons consistency going there. Oh, oof. There we go. All right. That is a fine fucking milkshake you got there.